Haley, thanks again for your question. Um, in giving you the solution for this problem, I am assuming that this is a regular pentagon. If you're not working with regular polygons right now and this is not a regular pentagon, um, please send your video back and let me know because the answer will be different. Um, I am also assuming that this is not given that this angle is 60. Um, I think that this is just something that you put in because you were guessing. Um, if Again, if that is not the case, please send it back and let me know. So if we want to find the measures of angles 1, 2, and 3, we're going to use a formula to find the sum of the interior angles of any polygon and then we're going to use the fact that this is a regular pentagon. So to find the sum of the angles of any regular polygon, what you can do is you take n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where this n is the number of sides. A pentagon has five sides. So the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is going to come to 3 minus 2, I'm sorry, 5 minus 2, which is 3 times 180 degrees. That gives us 540 degrees. Now, since this is a regular pentagon, all of these triangles, all of these interior angles right here, or the central angles, as you can think of them, um, are going to be congruent. So these are all the same. So to find the measure of each central angle, <clears throat> I'm going to take the sum of my interior angles and divide by the number of angles. So each central angle measures 540 divided by 5. Plug that into your calculator and you will get 108 degrees. So we know that each of these angles is 108 degrees. So angle 1 is 108 degrees. Let's go ahead and write that down. Now let's go ahead and do um, angle 2. As you can see, we're working with a right triangle here. We have one of our central angles being bisected and we know it's bisected because this line is perpendicular to the side here. So it's cutting this angle of 108 degrees right in half. So this angle 2 is going to be 108 divided by 2. We're just cutting it in half. So angle 2 is equal to 108 divided by 2 which is equal to 54. Now let's figure out angle 3. Well, it looks like I know angle 2, and I know this angle right here, it's 90 degrees. We also know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, angle 3 is going to be 180, minus 90, minus 54. That gives us 90 minus 54, which will bring us to a grand total of 36 degrees. So angle three is equal to 36 degrees. And these are the answers to your question. Thanks again for your question, Haley, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.